What is up guys? We're back with another BIOS video and today we're gonna be checking out the BIOS here on the ASRock B650 Live Mixer. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get to the screen? Like, how do I get to into the BIOS? When you power on your system for the first time, you're just gonna keep on hitting the delete key on your keyboard. Not the backspace, just the, the, the delete key. So just, you know, power on your system and just mash that delete key till you're brought into this menu. Now we're brought into the advanced mode, but there's actually is an easy mode on this board. So you can go to easy mode up here or just hit F6 on your keyboard. And here is the easy mode. So it's, so it's gonna give us some information on the board itself. Like this 1.18 is the version of the BIOS that we're running. Of course, we have information on our processor, memory, all that kind of stuff. Also information on our memory. And then you can actually enable profiles extremely easy on this board. Just click and your XMP profile is enabled. Storage configuration right here, we can see we have our NVMe drive installed. Up here, we have a live graph of our CPU temperature. Motherboard temperature is right here and CPU voltage is right here. Um, fan status, we only have one fan, which is our CPU fan. Uh, you can see that right there. And then you can set a thermal throttle limit if you want to. And then we have, of course, our time and our date. And then we have our boot priority right here. Now, we only have one drive installed, but if we have multiple drives installed. We could easily just drag and drop these um, to set our boot priority, which is really nice. Uh, we have PBO right here you can turn the RGB lighting on the board on and off here with polychrome RGB. And then of course you can change your language. There's also save and exit and load defaults right up at the top here. Now let's jump into advanced mode. And in the advanced mode, our main page again, just gives us information of what we have installed, what version of the BIOS that we are running. Going into OC Tweaker, this is where you're gonna set a lot of your settings as well as do your system tuning, tun tunings. <laughs> I can't talk today apparently. You're gonna do all your system tuning in here as well. So for performance preset, uh, there's a bunch of presets that they actually have set up here. So you can, you know, set one of these and kind of see, you know, what your system does with these different performance presets, but you don't have to use those. Um, you can just go to CPU overclocking and then hit customize. And then you have your um, voltage here that you can set and your uh, frequencies for each CCD. You can set that right there, but set that back to auto under GFX overclocking. Um, you can actually change this as well from auto to customize and it allows you to set your GFX or your graphics card clock frequency. And then under DRAM frequency. So you can set your DRAM frequency if you want, you can just set it or you can enable your profile. If, you're, if your memory does have profile on it, you can go ahead and set your profile. So here we have profiles, we can set our profile and we're good to go. It of course sets all of our timings and all that kind of stuff. Um, but if you need, if you did need to set your timings, you can of course go into this menu and set all of your timings and all of that kind of stuff. And then we have all of our voltages, starting with DRAM voltage control, um, you know, infinity fabric frequencies, all your different voltages. You have external vo voltage settings here as well, so you can do all of that. And then of course you can save uh, user defaults load user defaults and save um, and load defaults from flash drives if you wanted to, which is really good. If you had a certain um, setting that you wanted to load onto here, you can easily do that, which is really nice. Now going over to advanced, here we have CPU configuration. And here we can just see information on our CPU and some of the different things. Of course, we have TPM on, things like TPM. It's all set up already. You don't have to go into, if you need to install Windows 11, you don't have to go into the BIOS to change anything. Everything's enabled by default, so you don't have to change anything. PCI configuration, um, here are some different settings in here. Now, again, resizable bar support is turned on by default. So again, it's one of those things that we had to enable um, in other BIOSes, you know, but now it's enabled by default, so you don't have to mess with this as well. Onboard devices configuration. Again, this is like your onboard LEDs, RGB LEDs. You can turn that on or off. Display priority, uh, your audio LAN, WAN, Bluetooth, 
all that kind of stuff you can set there. Storage configuration, again, we have no SATA drives installed, but we do have our NVMe configuration. It just shows us the drive that we do have installed. ACP, ACPI configuration, again, some stuff about sleep and power on device and things like that you can set. Trusted computing, again, you guys don't have to change any of this stuff. Um, it's all set up for you by default. AMD CBS, I'm not gonna go through all of these different um, settings, but again, like your CPU common settings, thread enablements, you know, all different things with your CPU. Um, you can change all of that stuff right here. And then you have a bunch of other options, which we're not gonna go into, because I think a lot of people won't need to go into these settings. AMD PBS, um, here you can check your firmware version. So if you need an update from AMD, it should update with your BIOS um, here. But if you need an update, you can see which version of the firmware you're running and then common platform module settings as well, like your link speeds and all that kind of stuff um, right here. And then AMD overclocking, of course, we have to accept. And then this is all of your overclocking stuff. We're not gonna go into all of these as well, but if you wanna do some more in-depth overclocking, you can do it in here and go through all of these menus and you know do all of your overclocking. And that is it for advanced. Of course, also in the advanced, you can select your active page on entry. Um, so again, we have, you know, what, what uh, menu we're gonna drop into when we enter and then um, if it's a full HD and then advanced mode. So when we dropped into the BIOS, it's set to advanced mode by default, but if you wanted to go in the easy mode by default, you can set that here as well. Under tools, we just have our RGB LEDs. You can set them here in the BIOS. Um, <clears throat> so you don't have to in install their software if you didn't want to, although you don't get as much control um, but you can you know, set the different LED modes, speed, brightness, all that right here. There's an SSD secure erase tool and an NVMe sanitation tool. So if you had a drive that you were getting rid of, you were selling, you were giving to a friend and you wanted to make sure it's securely erased, for SSDs, you have that tool. For NVMe drives, you have the tool here. Instant flash allows you to easily flash the BIOS with the flash drive. That's how we actually updated this BIOS. And then you have the auto driver installer. So what this is gonna do is that when you install Windows for the first time, you're gonna get a little pop-up that's gonna say, do you wanna install the uh, auto driver installer? And this is really great because it's gonna install all of your drivers super, super easily. Um, so you don't have to download them one by one off the ASRock website. I do definitely encourage this. I know some people are freaked out about it, but I would definitely encourage this because it just makes installing all of your drivers on that initial first boot extremely easy. So you can enable or disable that. Hardware monitor, uh, this gives us again, a live view of all of our stats, temperatures, fan speeds, voltages. We can see everything. And then you can set all of these different things like your, your fan settings, silent mode, standard mode, all that kind of stuff that you can change in here. And then there is fantastic tuning as well as fan tuning. We're not gonna go into those, um, but this will tune your fans depending on where they are in your case. And then under security, um, you can set a supervisor password, user password. You could set up secure boots, um, all that kind of stuff there. And then under boots, you can set your boot option priorities here. And then things like, you know, fast boot, uh, full screen logo, boot lock, all that kind of stuff is right here. And then under exit, we do have boot override. I always talk about this, um, but you should be installing Windows, whether it's Windows 10 or 11, um, with a flash drive. Boot override allows you to boot from that flash drive first. And then on the restart, you don't have to worry about like pulling that flash drive out. It's gonna boot from your hard drive the second time. So. Uh, it's nice to see uh, boot over right here. And then we just have our normal save changes and all of that. Now we did enable our XMP profile, so we will see some changes. So if you hit F10, which is the save and exit, it's gonna show you all of our changes. So these are all the changes that got made when we enabled our XMP profile. So I really like to see this because sometimes you accidentally make a change in the BIOS and then you forget about it. Like, oh, what did I do? Or, you know, so again, just on accident, you might, might change something. It shows you all of the changes you're gonna make before you save. So I really like that there 
as well. Um, but yeah, that is the BIOS. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to find anything. There wasn't something that I couldn't find in this BIOS. Um, the easy mode uh, gives you, again, things that you're gonna wanna do on initial boot up. Enable XMP profile, set your boot priority. That's pretty much all you're really gonna need to do with this board. So guys, if you have any questions about this board, just go ahead and, or not about the board, but about the BIOS, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.